Did you hear that? That's the quietest e-bike motor on the planet. In a quest to bridge the gap between e-bikes and regular mountain bikes, Trek set out to create the most natural handling and quietest e-trail bike the world had ever seen. And here it is. This is the new Fuel EXE, and it is an absolutely mind-blowing package. So the bike itself features a beautiful lightweight carbon frame in all models. It's 2.9er exclusive. It's got 150 mm travel up front, 140 in the rear, it's got a nice relaxed reach of 485 millimeters in a size large as tested here. A nice short rear end of 440 mil, so it's nice and playful. And then obviously it's got all the e-bike features. It's, this is the world's smallest e-bike motor. It's made by a German company called TQ, and we'll get onto them a little bit more. It's got 50 newton meters of torque, and it's got a 365 watt hour battery, but you can put an extender on this, and we'll touch on that a little bit later on as well. Adjustable geo, all in all, this bike's got a lot of customizing features. Now what makes the performance of this bike so special and even possible is the motor. Trek collaborated with a German company called TQ Industries who specialize in robotics and aerospace. And they've come up with this motor design that's the most compact motor of all EMTBs and the lightest motor on the planet. It's so small, it actually hides behind the chainring here. And when you look at the bike, it's virtually invisible. It's even got a gap in the frame, it's that small. Now inside the tiny engine casing is something completely unique called a harmonic ring pin transmission. And what that does is it gives a plenty of really natural smooth power, but it's also extremely quiet. Now we touched before on the battery that comes stock inside here is a 360 watt hour as standard. It's removable by dropping the two bolts without having to drop the motor. Um, and you can also get a range extender, which basically looks like a water bottle. It sits in the water bottle holder here. It simply plugs in and that gives you an extra 160 watt hours. So anywhere from sort of two hours of trail time all the way up to maybe six hours. The system itself features three mode settings which you can see on the display here and roll through on the tiny remote here. Essentially it's got an eco mode, a mid and a maximum mode. We spent most of our time in the mid mode but to put it in perspective of a regular EMTB or those high powered EMTBs that you see on the market right now, the maximum mode on this is essentially directly in line with the trail mode on a standard EMTB. Trek's approach when they designed this bike was to make it as minimal as possible. So it's essentially as a kind to a regular trail bike as possible. Now when it comes to the integration, there's this beautiful little display stream from TQ. Now it only features the information you need. It's got your battery, it's got your mode setting. It doesn't have all that clutter and other stuff that you really don't need to look at. Look down at a glance, you see what you need to see and you get back on with the experience of riding. And that's what this bike's all about. It's about experience and balance and essentially the e-bike side of it almost dissolves away into the experience of riding. Now there's a very key point of why that is. Now why the new Fuel EXE is one of the lightest and most nimble handling e-bikes on the planet, what really sets it about is just how quiet it is. Now noise or from mechanical noise is measured on something called tonality and this bike has the lowest tonality score of any e-bike, it's off the scale. It's about a third the noise that comes out of a regular EMTB. Now why is a quiet bike a good bike? Well think about it back when regular bikes used to have chain slap and we all just sort of took that for granted and bikes were loud. Um, then Shimano and SRAM obviously came up with the clutch derailers and overnight chain slap vanished. And all of a sudden mountain biking and that experience of riding down the trail was so much more beautiful, it was so much more easy to focus on the trail. Um, bike got quiet. So being quiet actually enhances the riding experience tenfold. And when it comes to e-bikes, you no longer have to put up with that roaring noise that you know, you've probably experienced yourself or you've heard a thousand reviewers talk about um, with a standard motor, it sort of overtakes the ride. Whereas this, the ride is natural. Now when I hopped on this bike on the trail for the first time, what really blew me away is a couple of things. One, the amount of friction from the motor when you're pedaling is basically not there. It really does feel like you're riding a regular bike. You can turn this thing off and pedal it up a hill like it's nothing. Now, a couple of big advantages obviously is the reduced friction from the TQ motor, then also the weight of the bike. Now, this tips the scales right on 18 kilos. We think it can get, that's with heavy downhill tires and whatnot. We think it can get well under that. The actual frame itself is extremely light. The motor itself is 1.8 kilos and the battery is another 1.8 kilos. So two incredibly light features there and very minimal. Now, having such a low weight when you're riding the bike and less resistance from the cranks means that it really is a kind to riding a regular mountain bike. When you're approaching a corner, you don't have to brake as hard. Um, when you're hitting a section, it floats a lot easier. Um, you can pop and bunny hop over things. Obviously the short rear end helps that. 
Um, but yeah, the, the whole, when you're not pedaling, this bike really does feel like a regular trail bike. And then when you do pedal, it's just got that beautiful little amount of assistance that's just enough without being overwhelming, but also it's not underwhelming. It's a perfect balance in the middle mode. When you go to that top mode, it really cranks you up out of those hills. Um, but yeah, middle mode, you're gonna get hours and hours of battery life. And one of the things that I find frustrating about a regular e-bike is that majority of the rides I finish, I've got half a battery left. So essentially I've lugged around a, a heap of bike and a heap of battery that I'm not gonna need. Um, so a bike like this is a no compromise approach because you know, you ride for two hours, you're probably gonna be pretty close to draining the battery, but you've had an amazing experience. You've had a much better workout as well. Um, but yeah, it's much more kind to that regular trail riding experience that someone that probably has never ridden an e-bike before has got. But then when you hop on this thing and you, and you do engage the motor, it's kind of like someone's giving you a little push in the back and just getting over those sections. So essentially you can experience more trail each ride and have more buzz, more adventure. And I think that's really, really cool. So without a doubt, I think this new category of e-bike super lightweight with mid power is going to be really exploding in years to come obviously we've seen a ton of brands we've got transition pivot obia and specialized now to be honest specialized levo sl probably set the bar and held the bar at the pinnacle of, of how good the performance of those lightweight e-bikes can be but with the fuel exe that's launched today i reckon trek have gone and raised the bar to a new height altogether